The Academy of Cancer Experts, or ACE, comes together for leadership training with an emphasis on team building, mentoring, and career development. The idea is really to create the next generation oncology leader. So one of the things is that I think everybody has a great expertise in their knowledge, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be successful in their career. So the whole idea is bringing in what we call the faculty development at MD Anderson and really trying to make these people to be more efficient in communication, leadership, mentorship, and really trying to create a team. So ACE is about eventually creating a self-sustaining basic career development uh, uh, group that would allow to force their uh, careers through the, uh, their educational process is what we're trying to do. So Janice, tell me about this program. You've been involved in this in a few years? Yes, several years. I guess four years now or five years we've come to Japan at least once a year. In some cases we've come two or three times a year to do a workshop for them on um, how to have effective teams and become more effective as team leaders. And it's been incredibly successful. They're very engaged in it, and I think it has made a big difference in Japan to the way they interact in their teams when they get back to work. Larry? Larry? Well, this group is bonded because they've uh, each gone through a separate program, and now they've come together and they're taking what they've learned to another level. And so they're able to be a lot more open about uh, the problems that they face and seeking additional ideas from their colleagues on how they might be able to handle some of these things. So it's very rewarding to watch. So you do this training at MD Anderson as well. Can you yes. tell me a little bit about the differences that you encounter uh, here in Japan? Some of the problems are exactly the same. I hate to say that, but uh, people are people no matter where you go, and uh, they struggle too with being able to confront difficult issues openly. No one wants to offend anybody. Um, so we have a tendency in general to avoid or to be very accommodating, when in fact that doesn't make the difference. They have to be willing to put those uh, difficult issues right out in the open on the table and work through their differences. These are skills that are taught in medical school or in graduate school. But everybody is working in teams and we need to learn how to do this more effectively. So it's a learning process for them. It's also a learning process for us as we find out what the difficulties are. And they, as Larry said, they're very similar even in different countries. We're finding that people have the same obstacles to being effective in teams. Now tell me about the, uh, the ACE program, your experience with it. Um, I'm enjoying it very much. I actually started as the first cohort that was first um, that first took place, I think, in August 2008. Mm -hmm. um, there are two parts I've mainly enjoying. One is the communication with all the participants of almost the same age, same career style. Some are a little bit advanced, some are a little bit behind me. So seeing how they go through their process would give a very positive feedback on myself. And the second part is um, absolutely the fascinating uh, drill and all the course itself. It helped me establish my relationship with my mentor. So I'm hoping that I can influence others to build that sort of relationship. I think in the Japanese culture, there's more that the mentee should do so that they can influence the mentors to get really involved in their situation. When I ask the question, and I count to three, on three, as a group, is individually, each one of you needs to hold up your hand and point to someone that would best represent your response to the question asked. The first question I have for you is, who do you think has a good sense of humor? Make a decision, don't think too much about it. One, two, three, declare. <laughs> Pick one person that has given answers that have been helpful and beneficial to you. One, two, three. Declare. You gotta do it right away. <laughs> and explain why and work your way around. Uh, I experienced much uh, skill and the how to uh, 
contribute the team in the ACE program. And the most important thing I learned from the ACE is the uh, career development will be uh, make the paradigm shift in the medical world or may, maybe the in the all over the world. Can you think of maybe one or two things that are the most important thing you've learned through the ACE program? You mentioned career development, but what's, what specifically has changed in the way you um, uh, work? Uh, uh, work as a result. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, two specific things. One specific thing is the uh, knowledge about my uh, characteristics to communicate to other people. I am the introvert uh, by the MBTI, and that's very uh, have uh, that that have great impact for me. I myself think I'm a I'm a E person, and that, that's a big difference for for me. And another point is the uh, skills of the asser assertion. And I, as a Japanese, uh, very uh, short of, uh, short of our, um, to have difficulty to be assertive. Mm -hmm. And from the ACE program, I learned much, uh, much skill about the assertion. Who in this room do you believe has the passion to lead this effort? Get ready to declare. One, two, three. Declare. From my experience of ACE, uh, I studied about um, um, active listening and to be assertive and uh, mentoring. Uh, using th this knowledge, um, I do some trial uh, in my experience uh, um, e every day's um, conversation. And, uh, with my friends or with my colleague and that uh, grows me up very um, much I think. Um, Can you think of any changes that uh, you might want to make in the program mm -hmm. going forward? Mm -hmm. Because uh, ACE uh, program uh, changed us so uh, it, is, uh, um, it is very small group yet but uh, this influence uh, we will car again into the country also. Where do you think the program uh, is heading? Yes, uh, actually, the, they are the you know, very, very important leader uh, for the cancer research, not only the cancer research, but also the clinical aspect of the cancer in this country. So you know, not only their own scientific skill, but also I would like to them to organize whole entire those issues in this country. So I'm definitely they will be a, a leader for the next generation of our country. Okay? So uh, I want the uh, making a next generation of the ACE as a next step. And uh, those people in the ACE will instruct the next generation of the people. Then we can make a the big wave in this country. That's uh, uh, you know, our dream in this team and uh, I really would like to communicate the, the not only in this country but also the global level as well as the uh, uh, you know MD Anderson Cancer Center and the Cancer Center would like to get together to making this big wave yeah. And you uh, uh, worked in the United States for a while, you were at MD Anderson for seven yes. years. Um, tell us about the differences between uh, being a scientist there and a scientist here in Japan. Yes, uh, you know, big difference is in a scientist in the United States. Always they have some mission and the vision for their science. Okay, but uh, uh, this country, the most of the uh, in a young scientist does not have uh, so much in the mission and vision. Just only they would like to finish the course. So you know, that's big difference. I really want them to have a mission and vision for their science and for their uh, critical training too. I think this uh, workshop, this, the one that we had this time, was very successful because previously most of our Anderson faculties and Japanese faculties has been uh, leading the program, but now we're transitioning uh, through these uh, 36 people <coughs> to really uh, take the ownership and they will come up with their own program and they'll be leading the international collaboration between MD Anderson and the Tokyo Oncology Consortium.